how do I get into strapless kite surfing? Apart from the obvious stuff of having a strapless board and some kites and all the rest of the stuff you need to get in the water, there are a few essential things that I'm going to teach you to get you from nowhere to the top of the level. This is not one of those videos where you're going to be seeing me teaching how to slash waves and get barrel and all that. This is a little bit different. I'm going to teach you from step one, how to pick up your board, how to walk into the water, how to put the board on your feet and how to get over waves. So you just got your kite in the air, your board's sitting on the beach. Now, how do you pick up your board? When you're walking towards the water, pick up your board from the downwind side. Make sure you are downwind of your board, so that when you pick up your board and put it under your arm, your body supports the board. This will just help with stability of the board and the board won't fly all over the place and knock you out and knock someone else out and your arm won't go too crazy. Now, once you've got that comfortable and dialed in, walk towards the water, you want to get to about knee deep. You don't want to be shallow enough that you're going to break your fins up because that sucks. Once you're about knee deep, it's basically like setting up for a twin tip water start. So you want to sit down in the water, grab the top rail of your board, put your one foot on, slowly start diving your kite, bring your back foot onto the board and do the normal water start. Now, if you do get stuck up on this, there's probably two issues. Your legs are too straight or you are flying your kite way too hard. So keep an eye on these two things and you should be fine. Now, if you're at a spot where you walk into the water and it like dips straight away and it's super deep, the same rules apply. You basically wanna be floating in the water, your feet below the board, grab the top rail and slowly bring up one foot, just like a twin tip. You kinda of wanna be floating on your back, sitting in the water, and then once again, once your foot's on the front of the board, dive your kite a little bit, that'll give you enough pressure to put some heel pressure in and it'll bring the board onto its rail, like a twin tip. Then you dive your kite for your full water start and you're good to go. Now, you wanna take that to the next step. Next recommendation, same thing. Knee deep water, drop your board down, one foot on top of the board, on the front side of the board, swing your kite over, and as you're swinging your kite over, it will pull your body up and out of the water and your second foot onto the back pad. That's the second water start. If you wanna take it to a really cool next level, throw the board down, do a little bunny hop, land on your board, ride out, and you're good to go. If you have any issues going over waves, make sure your knees are bent and you need pressure on your front leg, a little bit more than normal, like on a twin tip, but you also need some pressure on your back leg to keep you going upwind. But do not think too much front leg pressure is too much because it can't be. Wave riding is very close to riding a snowboard, so you want pressure on your front leg to be able to direct the nose of the board. And that's that.